Hello farm members, I'm going to tell you the story of your food this week and I'm really excited to share that this last weekend we had the farm dinner that we had invited all of you to and it was a great success. We had 70 or 80 people here. Uh, the food made by Vince was delicious. Ray made everything beautiful, planned the auctions and everything. At the last minute, we got a very competent and a generous auctioneer for our um, live auction. He was great, definitely a godsend for us. Um, Ruben's mom and dad came and had uh, helped for two days to help us put this event together. So it was a, what, really a beautiful time. And one of the most beautiful moments for me was when um, Ruben set up the storm that was coming. And so we had a special speaker and Ruben said, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm torn because I want this event to be wonderful for everyone. And at the same time, I see the rain clouds coming and it looks like we're gonna get poured on. And, but the vegetables are, need the rain. We're so dry and what we really need is a good soak. And our farm, farm members like you were really rooting for us for both things. And the ones that were there just made the best of it. And uh, some of them were laughing as they were getting soaked. Then we were crowding under the tents. And uh, we just really had a good time. And it was such a special moment for me to know, just to see that camaraderie and to see that community of people who really believe in Ruben and Willow Haven Farm and Ian Ray and our team who are um, doing this hard work, especially of expanding and getting our food even closer to the people with Willow Haven Farm General Store. So thank you so much for all of your support in all of your small and little ways. And I'm gonna reward you here with some stories about your food. The rain, we got at least an inch, maybe more, um, and the, our soil just soaks that all up. We don't have problems with standing water or, um, or too much water. So it's just really good for all the plants and everything is beautiful as you will see in your boxes this week. Some of you have already gotten early delivery because of um, July 4th holiday where we shifted the days. Um, so our team has really put in intense work to get this farm dinner and everything done and to turn into this next week, pick everything a day early, get everything packed a day early and get it to you so that you have everything for your holiday and don't have to worry about going to somewhere to get your box of food. That being said, um, this is the first, one of the first weeks that we've offered cauliflower and heads of broccoli. And I always like to tell people the first time that they get cauliflower that um, it's really, it, it's, it's a heavy, you think it's a heavy, hearty vegetable and that nothing, nothing can damage it, but that's not true. Um, I learned a couple of years ago from Farmer Ruben that the reason why cauliflower is picked and that they keep these um, greens, the green leaves over the, cauliflower is to protect it because actually it's very very susceptible to for bruising and when you get it and you see um, new farmers get cauliflower from us and maybe it's been bumped or it's been underneath another head of cauliflower or underneath something in your box and it gets bruised it shows up as a as a gray tinge on top and that is just a discoloration, a slight bruising in the very, very surface of the cauliflower. It doesn't mean that anything has gone bad. It's just, um, we do everything that we can to protect it by keeping the, the cabbage type leaves over top of it and keeping it on top of your box and things like that. But if you ever see that gray bruising um, and it bothers you, you can just take a knife and skim it off. So that is cauliflower, enjoy that. I know that it's a treat, especially those of you who are doing low carb diets and are using cauliflower for cauliflower rice, even year round, this is fresh local cauliflower for you to use. Now this broccoli doesn't quite look like store broccoli. It's a little bumpy, it's grown a little uneven. It's just another chance for you to enjoy the variety of locally grown produce 
And also, um, you can also see that it's not a perfectly blue-green head of broccoli like you see. There's variations in color. Um, and these variations in color happen because of the different temperatures that the broccoli experiences during, um, during the process of harvesting it and getting it into the cooler. So because we don't have the big ice trucks that go through the fields that commercial broccoli growers do um, in order to keep it perfect for the store shelf, you'll see variations in color with our broccoli but it's even more delicious and it doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly presented in order for you to get so much nutrients and so many nutrients out of it. So another thing I wanted to show you is the fennel. This week, I mean, I did tell you about the fennel last week. Um, this one's not quite as big as it was last time. Um, and that does happen week by week your farmer is going to pick the biggest ones so that they don't get overgrown in the field. And then as the season progresses, the, um, you might see things getting smaller um, depending on the timing of the pickings and the need to pick something out of the field before some weather event or something like that. So don't worry about the variation in size. Uh, this week, you, have, you get to see the whole plant from the top of the leaves to the bottom of the root, actual root, um, this is what fennel looks like. So this part of the fennel is, is the stem and this is the root. Um, and this probably can be eaten to some degree, but it's gonna be very, very tough. Um, I've never actually experimented with it. I'll, I'll have to have someone look that up for me. But really, you, normally we would trim these right here and discard this, um, but I wanted to show you that. The, I, I don't know whether we'll harvest them this way again um, because they're, they're, it does capture dirt in the root ball here, and I did notice it in my box, a little bit of extra organic dirt with my vegetables. Maybe you have that too. Just put it in your compost pile um, and enjoy Willow Haven dirt from our farm to your home. This is the first week, I think, of um, basil. And once again, I have my herbs in a container with water. And um, this is, you know, the perfect time for, for basil. We did have, I'm, and I'm very happy to see it, especially because I know that Farmer Ruben had some trouble growing basil in the greenhouse this year. So, uh, he likes to have it as long as possible, especially with tomato season and everything. I know that this is a favorite herb of everybody's, including mine. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how many weeks we're going to be able to supply basil. I hope it's, um, I hope that he was able to make up for that crop failure, but I don't always get all of the information about what's going on in the greenhouse and in the field. So I'm very happy to see this. Hopefully we'll have a lot, many more weeks, but if we don't have as much basil as we have in previous summers, you now you know the reason why. That's part of the story of your food. So this, uh, we've talked about kohlrabi before. I just wanted to show you how my little kids eat it and my big kids too. If I just cut up, cut it, if I peel it and cut it up into sticks like this, and then sprinkle salt. Maybe I can sneak some pepper on it and just leave it out or have this out while I'm making dinner. They will snack on this and they prefer this for me to serve it like this rather than um, it cooked in something, but I like doing both. Uh, and one of my tricks for um, peace in the kitchen while I'm making dinner, you know, that's always a hungry time for kids. And if you have that experience, I, I always like to have a vegetable that they can snack on, that I can give them. I know it's not gonna ruin their appetite if to give them a vegetable for, before dinner. It's better than giving them another filling snack or a sugary snack. Um, and I don't have to worry about if they, it, to make them eat as much of the vegetable that I'm cooking for the family and serving at dinner, because I know that they got vegetables right before dinner. And if they're a little bit full, I know it was on something good. 
and um, if they don't want to eat the vegetable very much of the vegetable that I'm actually serving at dinner I have peace in mind that they did get vegetables that day or for that meal I'm gonna step to the side and feature the flowers so you can get bouquets of flowers that are made here by Ray and by Lily Lily is my niece um, she is 14 and she's um, manning the flower business while Annika takes some maternity leave and so please enjoy flowers with your market box it brings such um, happiness to people you it's also a great thing to do just to put it in your box so that you have something if anything comes up you have a bouquet of flowers wherever you're going um, to give to someone it's an easy really easy special thing to do for people now in my instant pot I have cooked beets because I want to show you how I uh, how easy they are in my instant pot which is my favorite way to um, to cook them because it's pretty much a no-brainer um, although it's really easy to boil or roast them as well so I keep this is more like four inches but I you're supposed to keep about two inches of the stem on and then you then the, you can slip the skins or the peels right off with your hands see how easy and fast that is and then and my kids actually love doing this job so a lot of times I'll save this job for for my kids um, just taking the root end off and then I can simply cube or slice however it is that I'm going to use these so now these are fully cooked beets so you can heat them up again and um, with a nice um, sweet and sour vinegar sauce which is a favorite way of serving beets or cube them up and do my favorite which is a salad with um, Parmesan cheese and an herb and um, a toasted nut it has all those different textures and flavors and when you put just the right amount of salt on it's wonderful so that's my one of my favorite ways of serving the first the first of the beets for the season a different kind of salad and my family really enjoys it those are the highlights with some of the story of your food this week I hope that you've learned from this video and you will um, share the information with family and friends and kids especially to give them a great start in life and help them to enjoy where their food comes from and the food that you've worked so hard to put on their plate so have a great week everybody thanks for being farm members and support supporting not just us here at willow haven farm but all the other organic small organic farmers that partner with us have a great week bye